hi guys what's up welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome to all things karina i'm karina and i really hope you enjoyed today's video in today's video we are going to be talking about what i actually used from my hospital bag this is the most requested video that i've gotten since i posted what's in my hospital bag and so yeah that's what we're doing today before we start i do want to thank every single one of you for all the love that i've gotten from my labor and delivery vlog i was very excited to share that with you guys so sharing with you guys and then getting positive feedback felt really really good so thank you yeah i'm excited to be back and filming it's been 12 weeks today since i've had olivia and honestly i needed that time to just figure out <laughs> this new mom life because it's it's real guys and that is what i'm most excited or just most ready to share with new moms if you're about to be a mom if you are eventually going to be a mom i'm going to tell you guys the truth because i've never watched a video that has prepped me for mom life not that you can be prepped it's just that i need the truth and like 100 percent when you tell me enjoy your sleep because you're not going to have it why what do you do throughout that time like step by step what happens and i know that every baby is different but i'm excited to share with you guys what it's really like to have a newborn okay um so yeah she's 12 weeks today and i'm 12 weeks postpartum i feel amazing and um i get a, i've gotten a lot of questions about like oh postpartum and like how are you and chris just how i'm doing and i'm doing really really well and i will be doing a separate video just talking about how I, how i felt after birth and how i feel postpartum wise and just a little bit of everything i'm going to be doing a q a next so yeah leave questions down below if you have any if not i actually have a bunch that i got from instagram but yeah so let's get into today's video i decided to just throw a little beanie on because it's freezing outside we're here in Katy in Houston, basically, and on it's about to be like 10 degrees in Houston. That's never happened here. It's freezing, okay? This is not normal for us. We like the sun over here, okay? Even though I'm a winter baby, I like the sun, too. Like, I like the medium. I like the 60s, 50s, not the 30s and 40s. It's just way too cold for me. So, yeah, that's why I'm like all cozy and stuff okay so let's get into the video um what i actually used from my hospital bag okay guys so before we start i do want to kind of tell you guys that i am basing what i used in my hospital bag based off of basing off of my stay my experience in the hospital which olivia had to go into the NICU so i was not just laying in bed recovering i had to go up and down up and down to different floors from the NICU to my room from the NICU to my room so it's going to be a little bit different i was also there for four days instead of two days which is two days is like the regular stay so just wanted to tell you guys like that's what i'm basing my stay off of yours might be completely different so just kind of keep that in mind and you will you can't even predict what's going to happen so yeah just keep that in mind don't overpack but don't underpack okay so how i'm going to be doing this video is i added this list to my video and i'm going to be reading you guys what's on the list what i didn't use and um what i wish i would have packed and yeah just like questions that i had asked myself like oh do i should i bring my breast pump like should i pack extra room for hospital stuff you know like just little questions i had for myself that i wish i had answered i'm gonna answer for you guys also i want to kind of walk you guys through what the hospital stay is like like when you walk in to when you leave um so i'm gonna try and not talk too much but i'm gonna try and give you guys as much details as i can remember you could always just comment and i am really good at replying so i'll reply to you right away so let's get into what i use in my hospital bag first we're gonna start off with mom what i brought for myself and first i started off with pillow and blanket pillows and blankets we used all of our pillows and our blankets so make sure you pack pillows not only for yourself but for your man um, we, I, we brought two. I actually let him use both because I wanted him to be really comfortable and I just used like, not even kidding, like 15 of the hospital's pillows. And then we brought two blankets, one for him, one for myself, and we definitely used both. So I think that's actually one of the most important because it's one of the most important things that I loved having was my blanket. Next is going to be towels. We brought like three or four towels and we used all of them, but we also threw them away after because hospital grosses me out so i did not want to bring home very much from the hospital so just remember you're going to be throwing well if you want to you throw away those towels so 
I would just buy some cheap towels and then throw them away. I also pack like going to the going to the hospital, coming home outfit. I had planned on going to the hospital what I was gonna come home in to save space in my bag, but I ended up going to the hospital in something completely different. Like it didn't go I was while I was having my contractions, I didn't care. I just wanted to throw anything on and head to the hospital. So that's what I did. I literally just threw leggings, pants, leggings, t shirt, and headed to the hospital and I that saved my butt because I didn't bring enough clothes because I was there for four days so I actually packed an extra set of outfit which is thank god I did because girl I was starting to get stinky in the same clothes in the hospital so yes bring a going home outfit and a going to the hospital and a going home outfit just in case um, you can never you can overpack but it's better to kind of overpack than underpack and then have to wear the same t-shirt same shirts for four days okay <laughs> no no good next is button up pajamas with shorts and pants now i didn't use the shorts because like i said i was going up and down up and down back and forth and the hospital's cold so i stayed in pants the entire time i only brought one pair of pants guys i wish i would have packed one more at least just remember from the time of year mine was in november it was like not hot but it wasn't cold so just base it off of like time of year you're in um, if it's really cold outside, probably take pants. If it's really hot, take one pair of pants, one pair of shorts, because the hospital's still kind of cold, but it just depends on you. Next is going to be button-up, like a button-up shirt. I think I actually bought two button-up long, long shirts and like a button-up sleeping shirt. That was the best decision ever because you're going to be breastfeeding. If you are breastfeeding, you're going to be opening and closing your shirt the whole time. I mean, you got to feed your child and you got to learn how to feed your child and you got to learn how to use the pump and um so yeah the button-ups were a must and next it's going to be compression socks and fluffy socks i did use both i don't think either of them are a must though i my ankles were swollen after from pushing so much but it wasn't like i don't think the compression socks helped if anything they just made me really really hot and i was like ew get this off of me i'm already wearing pants next are going to be two nursing bras i think that's important i think you need a nursing bra like one easy like open like to just pull down like this and i also think you need a um hands-free pumping bra so that you can use the pump while not like holding the pump you know what i mean hands-free pumping bra that's what it is <laughs> i have to go up breastfeed so i would pull that down and then i would go back down and pump right after i breastfed oh yes you need me two nursing bras next cotton panties i never use them don't take them you don't need them you're not going to put panties on when you have like the hospital underwear on plus the pad plus all the other stuff don't take them you don't need them the support band i didn't use it at all in the hospital i used it when i got home three or four times but didn't use it again i actually didn't want to wear anything tight i just wanted to be super comfortable so um yeah i didn't use that support band at, at the hospital and then robe so as i previously have told you i had to go up and down up and down so i couldn't just have a robe on i had to put clothes on because you're literally walking around the hospital so yeah i did not really use the robe i used it once when i got out the shower but i didn't really use the robe now if you're you know have like the normal recovering process then definitely i would keep i would have had the robe on the entire time because you're constantly opening up to breastfeed pump if you're pumping or breastfeeding the doctors come in on the daily to check your stomach the nurses come in on the daily to check your stomach they literally like press on your down on your stomach but that's for another video of me giving you guys the details of what happens in there so yeah i would have definitely used the robe so take a robe just in case um delivery outfits i didn't use any of those outfits because i just during the contractions you're not thinking about oh i brought a del delivery outfit let me put it on um now when you walk into the hospital and whatever clothes you're in they make you take it all off they give you a gown and then when you get you're in like the room getting checked then whenever you get into the next room which is going to be your delivery room you have the option of changing into your delivery outfit now um i myself was not thinking about it i kept the gown on so it's up to you though if you would like to do it if you would like to take it just in case take it um, maybe don't take two like i did take one um next is going to be sandals and slides yes it's a must you need sandals that you can just throw away well because you're going to be using them in the shower 
So sandals that you can just throw away and then slides that you can just slip on, keep going, go everywhere. Oh, in regards to the socks, I use the hospital socks more than I use my socks. So that's why I say don't take the socks because you could just use the hospital socks. And then I just threw them away after, like I said, the hospital goes with me out. All right, so next, so that's it for clothes. What I wish I would have taken extra is like maybe one extra pair of pants and I brought two three button ups so I think that was enough and maybe one extra t-shirt actually no you don't need a t-shirt but I would just take an extra because you know I was there for four days so I yeah or maybe an extra button up not an extra t-shirt so that's it for clothes now for postpartum I put discreet padded underwear did not use always pad less heavy did not use nursing pads did not use nipple cream I did use it's a must I will be showing you guys soon and what like the products that I love postpartum kit I did bring but I did not use it because I just used whatever the hospital gave me and so yeah out of postpartum all I use is nipple cream beauty items um, I used all the toiletries you need all of those um, makeup I did use so take whatever makeup makes you feel your best and face mask I did use and I loved it. it just made me it like freshened me up chapstick I used the entire time especially when I was in labor I was girl I was like where's my chapstick where's my water so in regards of beauty I did use the face mask and all that the toiletries makeup I did pack and scented body lotion I didn't use that and um eye mask I didn't use that heating pad I did not use water cup I didn't use I just used this hospitals the hospitals have this huge water cup and I just used the big water cup um because if not I would have had to refill it like whew, my little water yeti you need a big ass cup okay um charger camera and ipad I did use charger and camera I never used my ipad extra bag to take home items yes they give you my hospital gave me like a whole kit of pumping like a hands like a hand pump they gave me so many things they gave me pumps underwears pads um socks uh what else did they give me oh like diapers wipes uh pacifiers girl they gave you they give you lots of definitely have some room for the things they give you and snacks we definitely got way too many snacks we didn't even eat half of them you can't even eat while you're in labor well not at least i couldn't eat while i was in labor so just let your man have some snacks you take one one of your favorite snacks and that's it um even after i had the baby i didn't want to eat any like snacks i just wanted like real food i didn't want snacks i wanted like common bond which is like a little coffee place i, I wanted other things besides like snacks what i would have wish i would have taken for beauty stuff i didn't wish i had anything else i think exactly what i took was enough so just toiletries makeup and chapstick whatever makes you feel your best and um your charger and your camera extra take home items all right for the baby i put two onesies coming home outfit like i olivia was in the NICU, so they actually had her in like a specific outfit so it's easy to access all the little needles and all the stuff that she had on her so they had like their own kind of t-shirt on her so we only needed one outfit which was the coming home outfit a baby beanie, beanie. we didn't use ours we used the hospitals just because i just thought it was cute and it was just easy to use what they give you I just felt more comfortable with everything they gave me while I was there and then a baby blanket we did use um, to go home so yes pacifier with the chain we did not use at all I don't even think you need it until your baby's like two three months um, Olivia is about to be three months two swaddles we you we used one just for a picture though and then burp cloths we it was good to have just in case but we didn't use them but i would still suggest taking them what i would have wished i would have taken for the baby is nothing <laughs> i think that they have everything for you literally the hospital has every single thing for you you could go in with just a t-shirt and underwear and your toothpaste and toothbrush and a few things like you're good you you can go in there completely clueless and they got your back i mean you need you know your items that you need to make you feel comfortable um, now a few questions that I had asked myself before I went in that I was just I didn't have the answers to is, is should I take my breast pump? Um, 
I'm, I did not and I'm glad I didn't. I just used whatever the hospital had. Now I did come home and I was like, man, I don't even know how to use my pump. And I was like so emotional because I didn't even know how to use my pump. But um, like calm down when that happens and just, you know, learn at the hospital how to use their pumps. If it makes you feel comfortable to take your pump, take it. But you don't need to. They have a pump there. So, um, yeah, when, then when you come home, just make sure to watch a YouTube video on how to use a pump. Just calm down, take a breather, everything's going to be okay, guys. Because I was very emotional when I got home and I didn't know how to use my pump. But if it makes you feel comfortable, take the pump. But you don't need it. And yeah, guys, that's all I have on my list. And honestly, you don't need much, like I said. Don't be nervous. Have fun at your labor and delivery. It's very hard, but enjoy it it's a mental thing also a physical thing though but it's a mental thing um practice your breathing do your kegels and yeah that's really all you need for the hospital in my opinion and my in regards of my experience so yeah guys that is it for what i used in my hospital bag and what i think you need like i said comment down below if you have any questions i'm really good at replying i get my notifications on my phone so i like I check it so any questions like if you're about to go into labor tomorrow girl let me know ask me I got you hey guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video if you know anyone that's about to have a baby girl share this video and um, I will see you guys in the next video love you bye